Mrs. Davenport here. Um, today we are going to read what floats in a moat. So I want you to think about what could our experiments be today? Um, what would we be doing? Um, this is a book actually that I have been reading to my preschool kiddos for a couple of years now and they think it's pretty funny. There's a lot of humor in it and it, it talks about some really cool vocabulary words in principle um, that I'll include in the email so that you can go over and learn about and that then we are going to test um, with an experiment. So this book, it, What Floats in a Moat, was written by Lynn Berry, and it was illustrated by Matthew Cordell. And I have permission to read this by Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. Archie the goat stopped short at a moat. He measured and mapped. He doodled and drew. He sketched and scribbled and scrawled. Aha! To cross the moat, pronounced the goat, we build a contraption to float. Nor, said Skinny the hen, we could just take the drawbridge. Bah, said Archie, drawbridge, strawbridge. This is no time for a drawbridge. This is time for science. Right, said the hen, science. The hen and the goat, alongside the moat, took stock of their cart of supplies. A barrel might float, mused the goat. We begin with a barrel of buttermilk. The hen and the goat, alongside the moat, hammered and nailed, clanged and banged. They wired and tied and built the SS Buttermilk. Now, a lot of times, um, ships are called the SS something, and they're named after maybe an important general or someone famous, and um, I'm not really sure what the SS means, so maybe that's something you can research and something that I'll look up. I'm sure um, it stands for something that has to do with um, a naval something or other. Naval has to do with um, things that are on water. Um, and so the Naval Academy um, are people that are in boats. So... Um, so they named this first boat the SS Buttermilk. That's important to so remember that. Archie the goat climbed aboard. Ready for launch, he called. Ready, said Skinny the hen. Push, said Archie the goat. I am pushing, said Skinny. Shove, said Archie the goat. I am shoving, said Skinny. Heave, said Archie the goat. I am heaving said Skinny. Yoof! The barrel goat splashed into the moat. Blub, blub, and sank. Archie the goat dripped out of the moat. Hmm. So the SS Buttermilk sank. Remember that. Take note, take note pronounced the goat. A barrel might not float. <laughs> Apparently not, said the hen. Shall we take the drawbridge then? Bah, said, the Ar said Archie. Drawbridge, flawbridge. This is no time for a drawbridge. This is time for science. Hmm, said the hen. Science. <laughs> Archie the goat gazed at the moat he puzzled and pondered. He doodled and drew. He sketched and scribbled and scrawled. Aha! To cross the moat, pronounced the goat, an empty barrel might float. Empty? said Skinny. Empty, said Archie. Drink, Skinny, drink. Drink buttermilk? asked Skinny. Indeed, said Archie. For science, ha, huh, said Skinny. You are the scientist. Ah, said Archie, but you are Skinny. Now, for those of you that don't know what buttermilk is, um, it's, oh, it's not, it's not good to drink. And that's a really big barrel. And so um, he is asking Skinny to drink the buttermilk. So um, gross experiment. If you want to try it, ask your parents to get you a little bit of buttermilk. Um, we use it in baking. I have um, a red velvet cake that I make um, that has a lot of buttermilk in it. And um, once it's in the cake and it's cooked, it's delicious. But on its own, not delicious. 
So he asked Skinny to drink the buttermilk. Skinny held up her nose and started to slurp. Blech! She puzzled. She gulped. She sipped and slurped and guzzled and sipped and slurped and guzzled and sipped and slurped and guzzled to the bottom of the barrel of buttermilk. Ugh! Bah! said Archie. The goat and the hen hammered and nailed, clanged and banged. They wired and tied and built the SS Empty. Now, our first boat was called the SS Buttermilk because it was filled with... Yeah, buttermilk. Now, this one is SS Empty because what is it? Yeah, it's empty because Skinny Hen drank all of the um, buttermilk. Archie the goat climbed aboard. Ready for launch, he called. Ready, said the not-so-skinny hen. Heave-ho. There it goes. That one was a lot easier to push in, wasn't it? The barrel with goat splashed into the moat and floated and tipped and rolled and tossed the goat into the moat. It's still not working. Hmm, I wonder what's going to make it work. Here we go. Archie the goat dripped out of the moat. Take note, take note, pronounced the goat. Indeed, a, 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 indeed, a barrel does float. And yet, said Skinny the hen, we remain outside the moat. Bah, said Archie. We try again, Skinny the hen. Again, <laughs> groaned the hen. The hen just wants to use the moat or use the drawbridge to get over the moat. Indeed, said Archie, the third and final barrel, drink, skinny drink. The hen sighed, the hen sipped, the hen sighed, the hen slurped. She guzzled, she gulped, she stopped. She could not drink another drop. And the, see, the goat's tapping on the barrel. Ah. Oh said Archie, just right. The hen and the goat alongside the moat hammered and nailed, clanged and banged. They wired and tied and they built the SS Ballast. We have three boats now. We have the SS Buttermilk. We have the SS Empty. And now we have the SS Ballast. So the SS Buttermilk went to the ground and sunk. The or to the bottom, the SS empty. It was floating up on top of the water, but it it couldn't balance. It was it was going everywhere. So the SS ballast, about halfway of it, is filled with the buttermilk. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen with that one. Archie the goat climbed aboard. Ready for launch? He called. Ready, said Skinny the hen. Heave, 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 whoop. The barrel with the goat splashed into the moat and sank. It floated. Hmm. Peculiar. Sank and floated? They seem as astonished as I am. Eureka, said Archie the goat, and he paddled across the moat just in time to meet the queen from the castle. Archimedes, called the queen, for Pete's sake, next time take the drawbridge. And where is the rest of my buttermilk? <laughs> in the moat, pronounced the goat. And in the hen, moaned the hen. All, said Archie, in the name of science. Science, fussed the queen. Science? What about my buttermilk? Bah, said Archie. Buttermilk, gutter milk. This is no time for deliveries. This is time for... Discoveries! Indeed, said Skinny the Hen. What did the Skinny the Hen find? So, 
In our lab today, we are going to look at sinking, floating, and buoyancy. We're going to look at what makes different things sink and float. Now, it's not going to be our basic sink and float. Um, it's going to be going a little bit deeper with it. And so I will be doing a video with you and alongside you so that you can um, try these out. I miss you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Mwah, mwah.